Hi guys, happy Monday to you. Well, today we're in the basement and I thought I would take you around and kind of show you all the little different vignettes I did. I did not do a Christmas tree down here, but I did add plenty of lights and plenty of Christmas cheer. So I hope you guys like it. And uh, also too, I am trying out a new camera and lighting. If you don't mind, sound off in the comments below and let me know does it does the quality look better does it look worse i was looking at some of my past videos that i've done on my laptop and i feel like it kind of gives off a hazy look um, a very blah bland look so let me know does this look brighter does it look clear let me know i'd really appreciate it all right guys let's get into christmas decor in the basement so here you can see this is a big huge long sofa table that i made last year it was kind of like my rustic trial and run um so long sofa table i wanted to put it behind a sofa uh, but i ended up using it in a different way but anyway when we first moved in here i didn't have anything to fit this large wall so i'm like oh what the heck i'll just use it here for the time being um but anyway what i did was this was a garland i used at my other house last year it was one of those little cheapo garlands that you get at Walmart and it was not pre-lit and I got basically two garlands and I laid one down this way and then I took the other garland and I cut them into little sections and attached them and then ran my lights down you know like this throughout the whole garland and it kind of helped amp up the look of the garland and because this sofa long sofa table is gray I found these uh, little wall pieces at, I think it was Ross last year. They were super, super cheap and I thought they tied in nicely together. So anyway, I just brought in my two nutcrackers. I got those at CVS. I, I, I was there the other day and I saw uh, that they had nutcrackers there as well. And I just added two candles. I don't have batteries in those. I need to do that. And um, I got this at Ross that lights up. You may be able to see little lights in there. And then um, I just added some of these little red Christmas picks from Walmart. Added this little gold Christmas tree that I got at Walmart last year. And then added a spray up top. So super simple. And then these are two candlesticks and I just added two garden balls to them. But I'm gonna amp it up and just tie a little red bow here and there. And I'll be doing that in the next few days to kind of show you how to add finishing touches to make it look all complete. But this is what I did the other day. And then down below, it's pretty simple. I've got my, you all know I love rooster. So I just tied a bow to, to him. And I've got a farmhouse basket, a Merry Christmas sign, a wreath, another basket. And then I got that sign last weekend at walmart it says north pole trading company um authentic santa claus since 18 i think it says 55. i don't have my glasses on but anyway i think it's cute so when i stand back you can kind of see what it looks like when you walk into this room okay guys right here i'm just going to share with you simple ways to add little touches of christmas throughout your house. So here you have a little bench in the basement. And to that I added two pillows, a reindeer and a wreath with a little light up reindeer. And then above that, the signage you see was all found at Hobby Lobby. It just says organic farmer's market with a wood embellishment above it. And there's my husband's speaker. He's got like a seven point system down here in the theater. Let's just ignore that speaker. Yeah, let's just pretend it's not there. I hate, I hate speakers, but gotta love the hubby, gotta love the sound, gotta love the music, so it's it's a necessity, it, it has to stay. Anyway, just a cute, simple way to add Christmas in a non-conspicuous kind of way. Okay, so over here on this wall, I have two black, rustic, distressed wall shelves that I got from Hobby Lobby years and years ago, and on the top of it, I have a sign that says, Our Nest. 
And then I have two little Santa Claus pictures that I picked up at Ross years ago. Each were like $12.99. And then I got two little Christmas trees. Where did I get those? Oh, Michael's. I got those at Michael's last week for 50% off. So I kind of added the height on the side and um, that's it. Again, just adding little those little touches of Christmas right where you need them. Hope you guys can see. So now we're in standing in front of my 80s hutch that I got at a consignment store last year. And to that, I just added I added a garland up top, and then I added this arched wall embellishment that I got at Hobby Lobby with two Christmas topiaries. And I don't think you can't see, but the bases are gold. They're really pretty, but they're shimmery and pretty. And then I added uh, four uh, Christmas plates. I hung a gold snowflake, and then I've got two garden balls on top of two little pedestals that I made. And I'm not done with that. I'm gonna add a little ribbon to each pedestal. And I'll be showing you how I do that this week. Again, I, I pretty much finished the basement, but there are just a few little touches I wanna to add. So I, I think it turned out really cute. And let's go over here now to look at the ladder. Okay guys, we're standing in front of my little ladder and let me just tell you what I did up at the top is a sign from Hobby Lobby from last year, just says Merry Christmas. And then I got a nine foot pre-lit garland from Walmart and strung it down my ladder and you just tie the little, using the little branches, you just tie it onto the ladder. I got Mr. Santa from Michael's just last week. I added two gold snowflakes, got those in a pack of four or something like that from Walmart. And I just tied those on to the little Christmas branches. That little sign says Santa Claus is coming to town. And then at the very bottom is a gold deer, got that at Ross. So all the gold ties in. And um, it was funny because I had a throw blanket hanging over this ladder and I, and I, I wanted to utilize all my throw blankets on the sofas to stay warm and cozy. So I wasn't about to go hang it over here. So you know what I used? Guess what I used? Any guesses? A table runner, a Christmas table runner, just to add that splash of Christmas color right where I needed it. And I think it works. And uh, anyway, so that's my ladder. And there's the hutch. And then over here, next to my French set of French doors, is just a wall embellishment, uh, arched wall, like gate th thing that I got at, at Ross years ago for $29.99. I always get so many comments on it, but that's where I got it, Ross $29.99, I believe. And then I just hung a simple wreath and tied several different ribbons to it, done. Okay, now we're standing in front of my faux mantle in the basement, which is adjacent to the big, huge sectional. And all I did was add a lit garland. I added some gold ribbon, because I'm trying to tie in a little bit of the gold down here. And then I got that nutcracker from Michael's. I got those two Christmas trees from Michael's last year. The two lanterns came from Walmart. And I just added two little simple, whimsical, polka dotted uh, bows to that. And then two lamps. And then I added a mirror. and. You know, a couple Christmas picks. Done, right? And it looks really cute at night. And uh, those candles, I need to put, sorry, I need to put batteries in those, um, but it'll look really cute. So like I said, a few more finishing touches, but it's all coming together. And then you can see, got the fire going. And that's that for this section. Okay guys, we're in the theater section. Not too exciting over here, but um, had to cover these little windows up. And let me tell you, that was a challenge. That will probably get changed next year. Um, but anyway, it's, we've got theaters lettering right there. And then we've got, I think it's like a 75 inch flat screen. The picture quality is amazing. It's like 4K and it shredded our huge projector, projection screen we had uh, 
last year at our other house. So we were we were debating about getting a you know a theater screen and the projector and all that stuff. But I don't know. The technology is so great on this TV. I mean, the picture quality is just so amazing. So anyway, we just left the theater signage and you know what can I say? I got my husband's speakers down here. We've got that one and this one and big subwoofer center channel. And then we've got the two speakers over there. So not much you can do about decorating around those, but see that little Noel sign right there. I got that at Ross last week and it works out awesome as a remote holder for our husbands. You know how they have like a ton of remotes for all their gadgets. I can now put everything in there and it's awesome. And then I've got a little sign that says Mary 25, December 25th, and fa -la -la and a Christmas uh, Santa. So it's kind of like a little bit boring and generic, but it works. And I'll take you down there for a closer look. So as you can see, this is a little sleigh, and it just says Noel, and you can put the remotes in there. It's kind of awesome. And then there's a little Santa. I got that at Michael's last week. The sign that says fa -la 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 at Michael's and I got that little sign last week at Michael's. Super cute. So now you can see we have a huge family sectional down here and to that I added just a, a red throw blanket and lots of Christmas pillows. And it just kind of adds that fun Christmas festive feel here in the basement. So um, you can see what I've done here. And I love this one that says, that one right there, it says ho, ho, ho on it because it's got little jingle bells on it. So when you move it, it's like jingle, jingle, jingle. And uh, anyway, so that's the sectional where we like to do lots of movie watching. And then over here is the theater. Sorry. Okay guys, now we're standing in front of my little farmhouse display and I got that sign at Hobby Lobby and then I found that old rustic window at an antique store for $25. To that, I added in a pre-lit garland that I think I picked up at Michael's years ago. It's got, um, you know, it's got gold leaves and red poinsettias in it. I can't pronounce that for anything, sorry. And um, red bows. So I thought that was really cute. So I, I hung it over the top of the window, added my Santa Claus picture. And then I have these two little rustic pedestals. They're like kind of like candle holders. I just put garden balls on the top of them and then added two little simple ribbons. I just tied it and uh, two little Christmas trees. That's it. And then down below, um, I just have a basket and I put a little red tea towel in it with some greenery and some other stuff. But I think it's cute. When you walk down here, it looks festive for Christmas. What do y'all think? Okay guys, now we're standing in front of my farmhouse country hutch. And to that, I just added garland above the top of it and strung red and green ribbon through the top of it just to add a pop of color. There's a basket up there, a galvanized um, bucket, I should say, with some, it's basically a fern. And to that, I just added funky Christmas picks that are glittered and wild and uh, just kind of funky, just to add a splash of color up there. And then there's Santa Claus. Then I added uh, Christmas plates 
you know, there, there, and, um, and a little Merry Christmas sign. So I kept it very simple, but, you know, it adds the Christmas flair right where I needed it. So, all right, moving on over here, I have another one of those arched wall kind of gate things that I, like I said, I got that at, I got two of those at Ross years ago, and then there's a little table, and to that, I just added the same wreath that's on the other arched wall gate, and you know, just tied various ribbon in it. They all match, they coordinate together. And I've got a lamp, a little evergreen, like kind of like a little Christmas tree, a swag, a garland, and a little toy horse. And that's it for that table. But it adds, it brings a little Christmas in that corner. So I'm happy with that. Now let's go into the dining area of the basement. Okay guys, we're in the dining room area. Remember I did that hanging ladder for you during the fall? I just added um, a green garland, two nine foot green garlands, tied them onto the ladder, added some red ribbon around all sides, and then I hung snowflakes, green glittered snowflakes and red ornaments using my Mardi Gras beads. Just to add a little Christmas flair above the table. And then I added my lantern and I just filled it with tons of Christmas ornaments. Not sure if you guys can see that, but it looks really cute. Let me give you a close up. And then to that, I just added a little red and green bow. Over on this side, I got this little arched wall gate at um, Hobby Lobby. And then I got that little wall shelf at Ross, super cheap. Um, and then I added these little block letters that say believe with two farmhouse candles and just tied little red ribbons and dovetailed them at the bottom. And then I added a red and green bow right there. And so I think that looks really cute and festive. Yeah, over here, I got that little nutcracker at Walmart last week. And I had originally two wreaths hanging there and I just hung two snowflakes in their place. And then I had two topiaries and I just added two little ribbons and dovetailed the bottoms. And then I had this cloche and this uh, glass candle holder and I filled them with Christmas peppermints and added ribbon to that as well. And I think it turns out turned out really cute. And then over here, I added, this is to the bathroom, and I just added a little wreath to that. And then over here, let me step back. Um, we have this big cafe style picture on the wall. And I wanted to add Christmas over there somehow, so I just added two little red ribbons and dovetailed them to those candle um, holders, but instead of candles, I put my garden balls up there. And I still think it looks kind of festive and Christmassy. So that's it for this little area. Okay guys, that'll wrap up the little basement tour. Now, I'm not completely done. I'm still gonna add a few little more touches here and there. They're gonna be super cute, so be on the lookout for that. But what I did wanna show you is though, although I don't have a tree down here, I did bring Christmas. I think I brought the colors, I brought the feel, the look, the, the look and the feel. And so if you have a rec room, a loft area, a bonus room, a basement, you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to go all out. Just add those simple little pops of red and green or whatever colors you're into can bring that Christmas feel to that room. So I hope I've given you some, you know, simple ideas and uh, hope you enjoyed it. So 
Come back and see me. I have so much more to show you, you guys. You just wait.